Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to the Shoe Program. This is your boy EJ here with your dose of weekly news for the first week of November. Thanks for stopping by the Shoe Box. We appreciate all the love and support. First and foremost, let's get to the top news of the week. Call of Duty Vanguard was released this week and is now available for PS5, Series X, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Available from the jump, you'll be able to step right into the multiplayer and the campaign uh, with updates to the new Warzone map, Pacifica, coming December 2nd. Helena was the best sniper in Russia. She wanted nothing but vengeance. Next up, we have the news that Facebook is changing its name to Meta. Well, we might have to revisit that as another company actually has a name trademarked right now. Uh, excuse me, trademarked. And wants 20 million from Facebook for the rights to use it. Facebook's transition may not be as smooth and as simple as one may think it would be. Uh, currently, right now, an Arizona PC company was the first to register the name. So either Facebook is going to have to pay more upfront to this company or end up paying people on the back end to try to figure out a way to get this trademarked around the current company that's using the name. Let us know in the comments if you think Meta's name change or excuse me, Facebook's name change to the new Meta uh, is a big thing or if it's not. Netflix games launched this week. Uh, what I would say, the bummer is, only Android users can use it at the moment. At launch, you'll be able to play five games. Stranger Things 1984, Stranger Things 3, The Game, a game called Shooting Hoops, Card Blast, and last but not least, Teeter Up. The good news for this is every profile on your account will have access, except the kid profiles. Some other news is uh, that you will be able to play this game offline which for me personally, I think is a welcome addition um, as most games nowadays pretty much have you either be online all the time or use some form of an online uh, service to get you to play. So if you don't have internet, that sucks. Uh, good news is some of these games will be able to play offline so you can take them with you, play them anywhere you go. Uh, it'll be interesting to see going forward how much they expand and the content that they end up providing. Here's something cool. If you've always wanted Microsoft and Sega to join forces, well, your prayers have been answered. Sega has announced a strategic alliance with Microsoft as the two companies explore working more closely together. Now, this alliance will allow Sega to explore ways to produce large scale AAA global games in a next generation development environment. Uh, built on Microsoft's Azure Cloud platform. Uh, we'll, it'll be interesting to see how this Azure Cloud platform actually helps their games, um, but if it contributes to open world games, you know, we're all we're all for it here at the Shoe Program. What I want you to think about is think Halo mixed with Sonic. Uh, it, it won't quite be that, uh, but getting a chance to see some open world games produced by Microsoft and getting a chance to see Sega put their spin on it and use some characters that they already have or new characters could be something very interesting. And what of Lilith? Follow. And here's a quick update. Marvel's Midnight Suns has been pushed back to the second half of 2022, which is a bummer, but seeing as in we haven't seen too much from the game, it isn't a big of a letdown as it actually could have been. I will say for me personally, it sucks not getting a chance to use Blade and the AAA game is something that uh, it's gonna, that stings a little bit, but we'll end up getting it next fall. Um, so we don't have to wait too long. And going from a game that's been delayed to a game that's been canceled. Uh, 2K Games, famous for the NBA 2K series, canceled a $53 million game that was in development at Hangar 13 Studios. Not much is known about the game, uh, but we're told that the unannounced game was basically a game revolving around superheroes and open world. Um, like I said earlier, you know Hangar 13 Studios as being the developer of Mafia. If you love those games, this was what that game was supposed to be like. The game had been in development since 2017, which is really the only thing that we know. Um, I hope that uh, they'll end up using some elements from this game, maybe in some future games that they're making. I know that 2K does make 
some cool open world games outside of the sports titles. So it'd be cool to see them. Two movies we want to talk about in our movie section this week. Uh, the Eternals is currently out now. Go take a look at it. We have loved these people since the day we arrived. When you love something, you protect it. Two movies we want to talk about in our movie section this week. Uh, the Eternals is currently out now. Go take a look at it. If you haven't had a chance, make sure that you make up your mind for yourself. Don't let the critics sway you or determine you. Determine what you think about the movie. Um, if it's not something that you like, clearly you're on the side of the critics, but it end up might being, may end up being a bright spot for Marvel at the end. Morbius. I can say right now, initially I wasn't on the bandwagon, but after seeing the trailer and seeing the CGI and what they did with Jared Leto, I am firmly and currently on that bandwagon. Um, definitely excited after seeing that new trailer. Um, he looks 100% true to the character in the comic books and something that I'm definitely here for after seeing the second trailer. And there were a couple of questionable dialogue choices at the end, but I think I can overlook those considering what they've actually done uh, with the graphics, what they've done with the CGI. Um, and I think Jerry Lee was actually gonna knock out the park, so it'll be cool to see. I think the biggest questions in my mind is how does this fit into the MCU? Uh, does it fit into the MCU? Is it gonna be in Sony's verse? Is it gonna be in the Amazing Spider-Man universe? Is it gonna be um, in the Venom verse? Uh, so it'll be really cool to see how it fits in. Um, I'm just glad that it's actually using parts of Spider-Man, so that'll be really cool. Who the hell are you, man? I am Venom. I'm just kidding, it's Dr. Michael Morbius at your service. And that's our news for this week. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to say, like, and subscribe. We need all your support. Uh, we'll be doing some special things coming up soon, so stay tuned. If you guys have any questions or anything, always feel free to reach out to us in the comments. We're here for you. Uh, we need all support, all the love. Thank you for tuning in, and be ready for some special updates coming soon to the shoot program and the shoot box. Thank you.